Hi everyone, in this video we will take a look at combining multiple graphs in Stata. So for reference we are using the aggregated dataset as shown in the first video of this playlist. So the first thing I do is I clear the graph memory by invoking graph drop all. And then for this demonstration I will be creating two graphs. So one is a linear fit with confidence interval and a scatter plot which is this one. And another is a histogram which we did in the histogram video by different categories of race and the objective is to combine these two graphs and create a graph that looks like this which places each of the graphs individually here so just going over the two individual graphs first so we have linear fit confidence interval and these are the variables and then the other object is the scatter plot and these are the variables and specifying the marker size and I'm customizing a few different elements using the two-way command and we have named this graph to be graph one the second graph which is graph 2 here name so this is the histogram of wage by race we also have a total and we have all of these other elements which we discuss in the histogram video fine so now we have these two individual graphs and the objective is to combine these two graphs so this is just a demonstration for with two graphs but we can do it more for more than two graphs as well we can combine them so the basic command is graph combine followed by the names of the graphs that we have saved in the memory here graph 1 and graph 2 in this case and we are giving a name to this new graph which is the com combination of the first two and we're calling it comp1 and so by default what stata does here is stata places the first graph on the left and the second graph on the right and it does some adjustment with the margins as well so now let's take a look at how we can customize these things and also create adjustments as we like so let's say we would like to put the graphs in one column so right now that by default stata puts it in two columns and in one rows so when we run this command where graph combine graph one graph two and we specify that we want only one column then the graph looks like this so we now have two rows because we have two graphs and one column which is what we have specified so let's say we would like to have two columns so we just specify column two and which is basically what stata does by default all right now let's say we want to create two rows which is the same as specifying one column. So this is how we can specify a number of columns and rows as we want, depending on the number of graphs that we are combining. So what Stata does by default is it shrinks the font size to put all of these things together. Let's say we would like to keep the font size as it has been in the original graphs, which is this one and this one. In that case, what we do is we, we invoke this sub option, which is I scale, and we specify I scale equals to one. So it prevents the font from shrinking. So this graph is named combination five. So let's take a look and we can see that the fonts are now larger and they don't fit within this given space. But now we know how we can control them if we want. So now let's specify the margins on the left and right. And by this, we can control the aspect ratio. So I've created two graphs here. One is six and seven by numbers. And what we are doing here is we are specifying graph region. And then within the graph region, Within its parentheses, we are specifying that margin from the left is 22 and right is 22. This creates a graph that keeps this much of margin from the left and right. And in the second one, we have reduced the margins, left 10 and right 10. And so now we have a little bit uh, larger space for the graph. So this is how we can um, control the margins. So you can play around depending on your graph and see which one makes it the most visually attractive and useful to understand. Now let's eliminate the margins around the graph and push them together. So by default, Stata puts some margins in between the graphs and we can eliminate them as well. So in the first command here, I'm using the I margin command and 0, 0, 0, 0, what this does is it puts uh, zero margins in the left, right, top and bottom. So what uh, running this command will basically generate this graph. So we have minimal margins on the left, right if I add the graph region command we, along with this I margin, then it's going to create um, margins according to how much we put in here in the left and right. The second one here, we have I margin only 0, 0. So we can see the difference. So what it does, it, it only shr shrinks margins from the left and right, but it does not shrink margin from the top and bottom, which Stata does by default. So this is how we can customize some of these elements and combine multiple graphs together and make just one graph in Stata, depending on our needs and uh, context. And there are also other elements that we can uh, customize. So we can take a look at the help, uh, help files 
and see that in the documentation um, that we can specify different things like the alternate scaling of the texts we can give common x and y axis and different other things and we can also give different schemes as well for each of the graphs so this is how we can combine graphs and theta i hope this has been helpful if you like my videos and find them helpful then please support my work by subscribing to the channel